Hey guys, this is Tim from Tim's Electronics Lab and welcome back to a new video. Now in this video I'm going to test the various radar sensors that I previously bought and unboxed in the post bag. Let's start by first connecting all of the radar sensors to my breadboard to see if they actually power on. I was planning to test all of these sensors by using some LEDs that connect to the output pins of the various sensor modules. So if the LED lit up then the sensor was obviously working, but it turns out that it wasn't that easy actually. Now that has to do with the polarity of the output signal, which was different for each module. And not each module had enough output current capabilities to actually drive the LEDs. So I would need to use some kind of a transistor to switch on the LEDs. Or at least I thought that that was the case. So once again, I cleared the breadboard to actually start all over again, connecting all of those radio modules. And you might have noticed that I've only got the smaller sensor types uh, laying on the desk right now. And that's because the bigger sensor modules are actually Doppler sensors. Now, they could be all Doppler sensors, but the smaller modules have the required control circuitry in them to actually measure and signal if there's a person sitting in front of the sensor or near the sensor. And the bigger sensors are actually used to measure the uh, speed of an incoming object. So you could use it to measure the, uh, the speed of a uh, in oncoming car, for example. Now, as you can see, the sensors both work. They do light up the LED once somebody's near them. So the current issue wasn't really an issue as I would have thought in the first place. But unfortunately, I zapped one of the modules with an electrostatic discharge. One module is broken, so I really thought that it wouldn't really make sense to do a comparison between two modules when you've ordered three. So I ended up just testing if they even worked and recording that and well, this is the result. What was really cool about two of the sensors was that you could solder a light dependent resistor onto the board and then it would figure out if it was dark or not. And only when it's dark, it would enable triggering and detecting the presence of somebody. So you could really easily use this to turn on a light when it's dark outside and somebody's moving. I still hope that you found this video interesting. It does show you the journey of how I eventually got these sensors to work actually and I still think that they could be used uh, in favor of PIR sensors because these are just much more uh, quicker to respond and actually respond uh, through objects instead of uh, only visually relying on the infrared emission of your body. So I do think that these could be used for home automation and detecting whether somebody is present inside of a room or inside of an area. So I do hope that you like this video. Please also let me know if you like this type of videos because I'm considering doing more of this. And if you did, please don't forget to subscribe and give me a like. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh, hey, hello. Uh, I, I wasn't expecting you over here. Well, if you want, you can also view two other videos of me. So make sure to click them and don't forget to subscribe and like so you always get notified of my new videos.